hello everyone in this uh, tutorial video we are going to discuss the new topic which is a strainer type of uh, fill screen in the previous we had studied about the slotted type of fill screen so in this we will cover the basic four categories of the strainer type and we will see how these four differ with each other as well as we will also see, see we will see that how this strainer type of fill screen differ from the slotted type so if we basically compare both of them then we will find that in the case of the slotted there are some slots of certain uh, dia and distance between and, and distances which are being provided on the periphery of the bore well so in this case uh, we provide uh, in this case but in the case of the strainer type of well we basically used to provide a strainer which is basically a wire mesh which we basically provide in order to prevent the entry of the certain fine particles from the aquifer inside the bore well so such type of a strainer could also be used in order to obtain the uh, purified water through the aquifer so basically if we just look into its various types then it is basically classified into these uh, three categories of continuous uh, slot type of strainer lever or shutter type of strainer or we can have a pipe strainer with a cover of a wire jacket uh, that we mainly use as for agricultural strain and then we have a coil rope of a strainer okay so at first we will just look into the continuous slot type of a strainer so in this type of uh, this strainer this basically consists of this cold drawn wire that has been wrapped around a suitable uh, cylindrical frame so if you have a cylindrical frame of pore and around that we just wrap around this cold wire such that it forms a mesh and which uh, permit the entry of the water and, and restricts the uh, entry of any fine particles and gravel so in such case uh, slots can be made for a con over a continuous length of the uh, borewell pipe so if such type of strainers are provided to such pipes then that comes under the continuous slot type of strainer so the next type is of lever type of a strainer as you can uh, see from this uh, diagram how a lever type of uh, strainer look like in which uh, slots uh, or openings are being provided in rows and these rows can be in the uh, just adjacent rows or can be in um, parallel to to the axis of this uh, bore well so whatever be the case uh, these uh, slots can be provided and which are formed by actually wrapping around the wire across these such type of the steel metallic pipes which is having the perforation and these uh, environments prevents the entry of again the um, the fine particles uh, from the aquifer so this again restricts the entry of the such type of impurities into the bore well. The next type of that of the agriculture strainer, as you can see from your diagram, that uh, such type of agriculture uh, strainer, which are mainly used for the agricultural purpose, may also be provided for a shallow depth, and that also helps in extracting the um, impurity-free water at a shallow depth. So this is also used widely if you're using for basically as agricultural purpose. The last category is uh, the coir rope type of a strainer. Uh, you might have heard of this coir. So coir is a very basic term that uh, in some of the mattress on which you sleep that also consists of this coir. So basically this uh, we have uh, basically um, a mild steel type of frame over which a coir rope uh, has been actually wrapped around as you can see from here that uh, if I could zoom it for you then you can basically see such type of the strainer in which such type of coirs are being wrapped around and this permits the again the entry of the of, uh, impurities from the aquifer so depending upon what we use uh, for making of such type of strainer actually makes that type of the strainer so if you use certain material like coir in order to frame the mesh around this type of the mild strip and the net will be a coir rope strainer but there is certain disadvantage in this uh, type of the strainer for let's say its life is short let's say three to five years and that also cause of its failure is the rusting of the irons and rusting of its iron bar supports and frame so if you use uh, a nylon rope in place of uh, um if, if you use this nylon rope and coating that uh, iron rod with bitumen that 
have found to just have increased his life from this three to five years to more years so we can use certain alternatives in order to increase his life and since the choir rope of his trainer cannot withstand the high pressure that creating during the development of the tubal by air compression so well using such uh, screen cell have to be developed only by the pumps we can't use a high pressure pump because such type of coils can't actually uh, resist uh, such high pressure so that was uh, the choir rope strainer as you can see again in this diagram that these are the strainers that have been wrapped around this um, pile strain frame okay so that so these are the basically four types of a strainer and uh, we will just wrap up this topic uh, till now and the next video we will uh, cover the next topic thank you